it's serious to think that this could be our last night on earth. No wonder Deuteronomy 32, 29 says, Oh, that they were wise. Oh, that they would understand this, that they, that they would consider, the Bible says, their latter end. No dear unsaved friend tonight. You're wise when you consider your latter end. Because this evening, this may be your last night on earth. You know, a lot of plans are made. A lot of people do think about their last day on earth. They think about the funeral. Oh, we would love, I want this, these hymns to be sung. And I want to make sure everybody gets a wee cup of tea after the funeral. And I want the donations in lieu of flowers to go to this missionary or this or that charity or the other. And they make plans to make sure that their affairs are set in order and that their children seen right and that the house is left right and all the rest. Ah, but child, unsafe friend to me. We need to make plans for eternity. What if tonight this was your last night on earth? Tracy knows a family. And this man one morning got a phone call from the son's work. And the fellow on the other side, end of the phone says, is your fellow not coming into work today? He should be at his work, said the fellow. Well, he hasn't appeared in here. The father says, oh, here he must have slept in. And up the stairs into the bedroom, and there the wee lad, 18 years of age, not 98, 18. There he was, lying dead in bed, 18. And he went to bed that night with no ailments, just like every other night. And little did he know it was to be his last night on earth. Wonder, does this cross your mind tonight? What if this was to be your last night on earth? God's going to speak to us now for these closing moments through one man's last night on earth. One man's last night on earth. And I want you to find this man with me tonight, and I'll tell you where you'll find him. You'll find him in the book of Daniel chapter 5, and I'm just going to read the text tonight. God's just going to speak to us through the text. And it's Daniel chapter 5, and it's down at verse number 30. Daniel 5, verse 30. A man's last night on earth. Daniel 5, verse 30, speaking of Belshazzar, in that night was Belshazzar the king of the Chaldeans slain. That's my text this evening. In that night was Belshazzar the king of the Chaldeans slain. And it's these three words tonight God's going to speak to us through in that night. And there's a few things about that night this evening that the Lord wants to speak to us about. This man's last night on earth 
And the first thing God wants us to see concerning this man's last night, in that night there was folly. In that night there was folly. Why was there folly tonight? I'll tell you why it was a night of folly. Because this man lived his last night with no thought of God. This man lived his last night with no concern for his soul. This man lived his last night with no sense of conviction concerning his sin. And that night, there was folly. How many men, how many women, how many young people have lived their last night on earth like Belshazzar? A night of folly. No thought of God, no thought of Christ, no concern for their soul, and no sense of conviction. I'm telling you tonight, in that night, in that night, there was folly. Psalm 10 verse 4 says, the wicked, and the wicked just doesn't mean the murderer and the whoremonger, or all anybody else. The wicked means the unsaved. That's who's referred to as the wicked. It's the Bible's word for the unsaved. And Psalm 10, 4 says, The wicked through the pride of his countenance will not seek after God. God is not in all his thoughts. Tell me this, dear. How many nights have you went to bed and God wasn't on your thoughts? How many nights, sir? Have you climbed into bed with no concern for your soul? Did you ever get into bed and think what would happen? That if I didn't wake up again, where would I be? And that night, there I was folly. And that night, we see a man whining and dining his way to hell. Blaspheming God. And I'm telling you now, child of God, Isaiah chapter, uh, unsee a friend, Isaiah 44 and 20 says, a, a deceived heart hath turned him aside. I'm telling you, this man was deceived. And that night, there was folly. There's a, there's a mentality among people today Eat, drink, and be merry. There was one man said that in Luke 12, and God called him a fool. This night, I'll tell you, there's more than that night. There was this night. And God said to that man, Thou fool, this night shall be required of thee. Many years ago in the Isle of Man, a young motorcycle has come off the motorbike in one of their races. A man who was the pastor then, the late Reverend Sam Workman often told the story, went into the hospital to see him. The evening that he come off the bike, badly smashed he was. And there was a brave idea, idea that he wasn't going to do. But this man got in to see him, and this man got in to talk to him about his soul. And this man, who was in a bad way, asked the nurse to come along and to put this man out because he was preaching to him. Imagine you facing eternity talking like that tonight. Imagine staring death in the face and telling a man of God to get out. Well, this man of God honored his wish. He went out and he went home. But he felt compelled to go back in an hour and a half later. And he went back an hour and a half later only to see this bed of this young fellow all freshly made. And he went to the nurse's station. 
and says, where's the young lad that come off the bike? Where is he? I feel I've come back to see him again. And the nurse said to him, you weren't away half an hour. He took a turn. And now he's in the morgue. And that night, there was folly. But I'll tell you something else about this last night of this man tonight. In that night, there was fear. Fear struck this man, you know, in his last night on earth. Verse 5 and 6, we read all about it. The king, the king's countenance was changed, and his thoughts troubled him. I'm telling you, friend, God appeared to this man in his last night. Not too many get that chance, you know. God coming to him on his last night, and God striking fear into his heart. Oh, friend, I'm telling you something now. This man, I can tell you, friend, had a great privilege. Not too many men or women have privilege of God appearing on their last night on earth. God struck fear into him. I'm telling you, God can soon turn your folly into fear, sir. God can soon quieten the proceedings. God can soon sober a man up. God can bring things to a standstill. If old Belshazzar could quote a verse of Scripture to sum that night up, I think it would have to be Isaiah 21 and 4, my heart panted. Fearfulness affrighted me, the night of my pleasure hath he turned into fear. And that night, there was folly. And in this man's last night, there was fear. And if the Lord tarries for another hundred years or more, every one of us, saved and unsaved, will have to pass through their last night on earth. And someday, dear, you're going to pass through your last night on earth. And someday, sir, you're going to pass through your final night on earth. Because the Bible says in Proverbs 27 and 1, boast not thyself of tomorrow. for thou knowest not what a day may bring forth. What would happen tonight? This was your last night. What would happen tonight if it's Jimmy on it that has to dress you tomorrow? You see, that's the reality tonight. We need to hit the reality. If it's to be our final night on this earth. And that night there was, there was folly. And that night there was fear. I'll tell you something else about this man's last night. And that night there was fact. And that night there was fact. And in this man's last night on earth, he was faced with two facts tonight. Do you know the first thing God showed him on that night, his last night on earth, God spoke to him and God showed him that he was limited. God hath numbered thy kingdom. A very good neighbor of ours was a man by the name of Jackie Keenan. The best neighbor any fella or any family could ever have, Jackie Keenan. 
And Jackie Keenan was struck down with cancer. And I remember asking another neighbor, what's the latest in Jackie this weather? He says, I doubt Jackie's days are numbered. He says, wait till I tell you something. There's more than Jackie's days are numbered. All our days are numbered. Everybody sitting in this meeting tonight, your days are numbered, my days are numbered. And Belshazzar was told that he was limited, but I'll tell you something else he was told. He was told that night on the final night in which he died upon this earth, his last night on earth, he learned that he was limited, but he learned he was lost. God wrote on the wall, Thou art weighed in the balances and art found wanting. I'm telling you tonight, God weighed this man up this evening. On his last night on earth, God weighed him up. Thou art weighed in the balances and art found wanting. And unsaved friend tonight, God has you weighed up. In the scales of God's righteousness tonight, you're found wanting. You're found wanting. You know, friend, Proverbs 6 and 2, listen, no matter how good you are, no matter how righteous you are, no matter how religious you are, I'm telling you, in God's sight, you're found wanting because you're a sinner. And sin tonight puts you on the bad side of God's skills. Because this is what it says. All the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes, but the Lord weighs the spirits. Romans chapter 3 and verse 23 says, We all have sinned tonight. And God's scales read, and have come short of the glory of God. I'm telling you, wasn't God merciful to this man tonight on his last night? In that night there was folly. Boys, I'm telling you, in that night there was fear. In that night there was fact. In that night there was fatality. The text reads, in that night, was Belshazzar the king of the Chaldean slain. Here's the reality tonight. As God was writing on the wall, death was knocking on the door. And God could be speaking to you tonight. And death could be knocking on the door for you at the same time. Friend, tonight, let me tell you of Jesus, the mighty to save before it's too late. And before it's too late, can I beg you tonight, plead with you, seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. He went to the cross for you, died for you, died to save you. Friend, flee to the cross tonight. Flee to Christ tonight. He loves you. And he makes this promise tonight. Him or her that cometh to me, I will in no ways cast out. Ezekiel 7 and verse 6 says this, and I'm finished. And I wonder tonight, is Ezekiel 7 and 6 rest and heavy tonight and somebody in here? Ezekiel 7 and 6. 
an end is come. The end is come. It watcheth for thee. Behold, the end is come. Ezekiel 7 and 6. What if tonight this was your last night on earth? In that night, Belshazzar, the king of the Chaldeans, was slain. And before a new day dawned, he was lost in a lost sinner's hell. Let's bow in a wee word of prayer together as we seek the Lord tonight. Lord, tonight we thank Thee for Thy speaking voice. Now, Lord, the truth has been preached. And I pray that the power and the mightiness of God the Holy Spirit will take that word tonight and drive it in deep into the heart of the unconverted that is able to make them wise this evening. On to salvation. We'll leave the eternal issues of this meeting with thee, O God. In Jesus' name. Amen. 2.31 is our closing.